Hello boys and girls, today we're gonna dial in a beautiful sounding rock bass tone. Slightly aggressive, beautiful overtones, slightly compressed, but not high gain. Still aggressive enough to sit well in a metal or rock mix. I love classic rock tones, don't get me wrong. It's not always about the dangle dangle and the high gain. This sounds beautiful. As usual, I'm gonna show you exactly how to dial in this tone. It's actually pretty simple. And later in this video, you can even get two camper profiles of exactly this setup a low gain and a high gain version. Stay tuned. There are three classic bass amps that I love for a rock and roll tone that is not high gain. First one is the Ampeg SVT Classic Tube Amp. Legendary design, right? Everybody knows it. And that also makes it a little boring. So I'm not gonna talk about that one today. I still love it, of course. The second amp is a Trace Elliott amp. Doesn't really matter which one, they all sound great. I still have one here and I play it live. Those green things, you remember them? Super loud transistor amps and they always sounded extremely direct and in your face. No real distortion, no real bass growl like an uh, Ampeg, but something that makes them sit right in a rock or metal mix. So bass players who don't like distortion, <laughs> they exist. Yeah, back in the days went for a Trace Elliott. And the third amp, and that's the one I wanna show you today, is another very old classic. And that is the Marshall Super Lead Plexi amp. Super Lead and Super Bass. The most famous guy who played it is Mr. Lemmy Killmister. And this thing can actually go high gain. Just you know, remember Lemmy sound. I'm not using a Marshall here. I've had that amp many times in the studio. I'm using this cheap copy from Bugera. And I have to say, it sounds freaking fantastic. I bought it more than 10 years ago. It was more of a joke. I wasn't expecting much. And this amp simply sounds great. I just replaced the tubes. I'm recording a lot of guitars with it. A lot of crunchy guitars like this. <laughs> It sounds beautiful, but I'm also using it for bass. It's actually my favorite classic rock bass tone, this. I love that lower mid roar. And that fuzzy low end. And that makes it very different from a modern clanky metal bass tone where you want the lower mids slightly scooped and where you really want the higher mids to pop and you want the bass to stay tight, mostly no distortion at all in the bass. Here it's different, you want to have that growl in the bass. And that's why I'm not mixing in any clean low end here. I did something else. Let me explain the setup. So I'm using this very old Esch Sovereign passive bass, or at least I'm using a passive setting. I'm playing both pickups. No EQ. Into the Bugera and into my beloved Ampeg 2x10 cabinet over there. You can see it now. And I'm using two microphones. My main microphone is an SM7 and it sounds like this. Sounds okay, the mids are all right, but it sounds kind of thin. So 
I added another microphone. And this is a ribbon microphone. And as you can see, it's around one meter away from the cabinet. And I moved it around a lot to get it in face with the main microphone. It sounds like this. And then I'm using an EQ to cut all the highs and mids. Sounds like this. And then I'm mixing in the microphone. So this is the SM7. And now I will turn on the other microphone. Ah, one more time. There's our low end. The second microphone makes the whole thing sound a lot fuller and rounder. Let's talk about the amp. Those amps are so interesting. The cool thing about the Bugera is it has some modern features. First of all, you can swap the tubes and combine different kinds of tubes. It's very interesting for different tones. The second thing is you have those four inputs here. And you know, with an original Marshall, you need to, you need to um, use patch cables if you wanna play both channels together or if you wanna cascade them. And the Bugera doesn't need any patch cables, so there's already some patching going on internally. The Super Elite has two channels, and you can even play both channels at the same time with two different instruments. It's, it's kind of weird. And I'm playing the two channels in the cascaded mode right now. So I'm playing both channels at the same time. What you have to understand, there is no gain knob here. So you just distort with the master level of both channels, and that makes this amp very, very loud. The cool thing about the Bugera is that there is another volume after the power tubes, which comes very handy, so you can reduce the overall level, you know? Uh, very smart, great amp. I'm not gonna talk much about the EQ because it's, it's a passive EQ and it doesn't do much. Let me just, these are the mids. Not a lot happening. Just crank them, just crank everything. Presence. Ah, something happening. Bass. A little bit. Just leave them cranked and forget about the EQ. It's not important here. Because you dial in your tone with the two volume knobs of the channels. The left channel is what I call the bass channel. Let me just bring down the other one a little bit. So if you boost that one, you are getting a really nice fuzzy low end. If you boost the other channel, you're distorting the higher frequencies. And by mixing those channels, you can get a lot of different tones. And of course, you can go into Let Me Kill Mr. territory. Let's see. Something like that, right? So you can even go high gain here. But it's a really raunchy and dirty and classic distortion. Yeah, sometimes I'm also using a pedal. This is a Clearton Lichtbringer pedal. This is a clean boost actually, but where you can dial in the low end and the high end separately. It's a, it's a, cool, it's a cool boost, check it out. So if I wanna have a little more clank, I use this pedal. And I can see a sound like this being used even on a modern metal record. The bass has a lot of character, a lot of character. It sits right in the mix because there's enough clanky information. And yeah, when you hear the bass alone, it sounds interesting because of all the overtones and the distortion. And even the clean setting, and even the clean setting sounds interesting. far away from a boring DI tone. So what I did today is I 
created two camper profiles. Let me just unplug the base and put it into my camper amp. You can see it, but it's down here. So you can get those camper profiles if you like that tone. One of them sounds like this. It's called Cola Super Bass. <laughs> And I've also created a high gain version. Ah, here it's getting quite evil, right? So you can sound dirty, you can sound clean. Two really cool camper profiles that you can buy. Yeah, there's a link in the description where you can buy those two profiles to make me rich because I want to buy more beer and you want to sound more evil in a classic way. All right, I can only recommend this amp here. I had so much fun with it. Those were the best, I think, 350 euros that I have spent on amps. Amazing sounding amp. And... Um, yeah, if you want me to show you the amp on, on, on guitars, that could be also a cool video. I'm recording most of my clean and crunch tones, either with this amp or with the Dietzel Demol over there. They both sound great, have great mids and a great yeah, break up into distortion, if you know what I mean. Very, very beautiful. All right, uh, as usual, please subscribe to this channel, ring the bell, ding dong, follow me on the socials, blah, blah, blah. What you can do also, by the way, you are writing all those fantastic comments. Thank you very much. I read them all and I try to answer them all. Uh, what you can do is share the videos on Facebook or elsewhere. That would really help me because there's more people out there, you know, who want to see beautiful videos about dirty guitar and bass tones. Right? So uh, do me a favor, share the videos, tell your friends, tell your grandma. I'm sure she loves it. You can also subscribe to my newsletter down there. And once again, if you want to get those Kemper profiles, uh, follow the link. I hope they will make you happy and you can create some really cool, dirty, but beautiful tones with them. That's all. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, see you in hell, motherfuckers. Bye-bye. <laughs>